<laughs> All right, well, that's probably close enough to 430 right now. 431 almost. Let's get this show on the road. All right, so currently I'm in a caravan going up to Vince Whaler, which is where? To the north, right there. I've got to visit a bunch of towns, including, well, none of these towns up here. Basically, I've got to you know, start venturing up in this northern area over here. From like here all the way up, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, so basically all the towns from here all the way up there. We're going to go here first because, you know, I got a caravan to go up there. Make a little money on the way. So let's get this going. My guys are more or less armed, I guess, for the most part. We got some nice armor on these guys now, for the most part. This guy's still a little bit armor armed, but this guy too. But they should be doing pretty good for the most part. And that's really going to hurt his melee ability, but whatever. Let's just get going. Hopefully there won't be too many bandits on the road. Usually with these long, you know, route caravans you're going to get attacked, but whatever, we'll see. All right, um, some bringing rares and some poachers. That might be bad if we go after them, but looks like they're avoiding us. Lucky us. They might be hunting someone else, those guys. I guess we're going to go down this way to get up here. There's really no road over here. No roads over there, apparently. Brains are still over there. No trading caravan. There's the brigands again. I'm paying my credits here, but whatever. I guess we're a good deterrent for the caravan, so that's nice. Hey, we made it. Hello, Vince Weller. There we go. Thanks for getting us here, Cell Sword. Thanks for betraying us. They're now well supplied. Problems were well deserved. These guys have been raided, though, so that's been an issue for them. Alright, so. Got two pairs in hand, they are face to the sketches on. We caught these two DRT, hanged them, burned the remains, she shrugged. Congratulations, no, that's not amused. Now, we were gone worried that the Brigham friends are going to exact revenge on us, and yes, we need your help to fight them off. Are you interested? Alright, so this is like a, a mission where you have to basically fight off a bunch of brigands that'll be coming after you. These are usually very hard missions because they're basically you know, attacking you, and you have to basically uh, protect the village. And you get paid pretty good for it, but. Um, we need a poor for this. Alright, so it might be tough to get this, but a thousand crowns is really good to get, so... We're going to accept this offer. We have to defend them from the Oscars from raiding parties. Basically, it'll be a tough one, but we'll see. If I pull it off, I'll be able to get some good money from this. Alright, so we got ourselves a hunter over here. I'm actually tempted to buy a hunter because this guy would be really good to have around. For our next little battle. Let's hire him. And we'll go in here and get some perks. There's a bunch of stuff we want to basically get for archers. Like, you know, getting like, you know, bullseye or um 
Executioner. You get like crippling strikes and execution, you get a really nice build, build up for like attacking people, so it can be worth it. So basically, we'll roll the chance to basically gain that, and we'll get this thing here to up. Oh, I guess we don't have it that high enough. Oh well. Blow this guy up then. His range up a little bit. His defense up a little bit. I have to put this guy in the line now, so. Let's go like this. That guy can heal up a little bit more. Then we got a nice big line here of guys that basically fire stuff. I'm doing pretty good on food and everything else, so. We'll fight off the bandits and then we'll go from there, I guess. Hmm. We'll buy that, though. Might buy this. And yeah, we'll buy... ...that hunting bow. Basically, I want to get a bunch of stuff to basically make this go as easily as possible, because I'm not going to be into, like, in a good fight here. This will be really difficult, this fight I'm about to get into, so... We'll see how it goes. And if it goes well, I'll be able to get some good, uh, you know, experience and profit from all this, I guess. Let's put that on him. You know what? Let's go like this for now. Eh, that's interesting enough, I guess. I should really get a good hat on him, I guess, so... Let's see here. Buy a hat for now. Alright, so there we go. That's a really nice setup for, you know, doing stuff. We got a spare guy in reserve, a bunch of other guys here. Now we play the waiting game. So basically what's going to happen, a shot crosses over from behind you. When you look back, Unger is standing there with a very distant look in his eye. He cracks his knuckles on the long Sotako be um, before asking if he can train up Ibard. You ask why. The bar looks down at you. Because he is weak. Hmm, good enough. Alright, so see how long you can keep him going or tough him up. So basically, this is something that happens with brawlers. Sometimes you get them to train up people, so... He can, like, you know, get this guy to be, like, you know, stronger, or can make, you know, more fatigue. Show him how to brawl. Let's see how long you can keep him going. So Andrew and Ebra are found in mud pit with their hands wrapped in cloth and leaves. Padded for the knuckles and to keep them from cutting one another with each every punch. The brawler has his... Trainee bouncing counterclockwise along the ring of a fighting circle, punching the air as he goes, and with his trainer hitting or kicking him every time he passes by. The men glisten with sweat as they work. When Emmer begins to slow, Ender hits him as though a jaku would a, would a sluggish horse. After an hour of this, Ender steps back and invites his trainee to attack him, particularly the assault is aimless and pitiful. Long looping punches are thrown with no energy behind him. The brawler ducks and weaves out of the way, punching every attempt to strike with a counterpunch of his own. See what happens when you are tired? This is why I must train. Even the most able and deadly are worth nothing without air in their lungs and fresh legs beneath them. This guy's getting some uh, fatigue, this guy here, I guess. I'm getting tired just watching this. So, who is that? This guy, the arrow maker. Our bow warrior just got a little bit of uh, you know, training going there. So, this guy's basically fragile, I guess, and maybe that's why I got trained there. He got a little bit of fatigue, but wants to help him out. That'll be nice. This guy really needs to he gets his HP up a little bit, so I have to start training that soon. You got banishes, you got banishes. So something I'm thinking about doing. 
Speaking of all the gear I basically got, we're gonna basically put a throwing net on this guy maybe? Actually, you know what? No, we're gonna keep that in behind for now. And we'll wait a little bit. So basically, this is the summit right here. Hunter's Cabins, you know, Gara's Hut. Uh, this summit right there, that down there, the lumber camp. Essentially what's gonna happen, we're gonna have a bunch of brigands come on the horizon, they'll start attacking, and off the will go intercept them and deal with them, basically. And then we get paid for defeating them all. It'll be a difficult battle. Yep, it's a it's a waiting game at this point. Basically, we're waiting for the brigands to come. The brigands are in sight. Prepare for battle and protect the town. To arms. There you are. So we got ourselves brigand raiders down here. There's six of them. There might be more than this, but uh, hopefully we can take out these six without much trouble. All right, so we got ourselves one guy here, a bunch of other guys here, a couple of these guys right there. Um. I want to get this high ground for the most part, so... I might get these guys to get up here for now. Like so. He stepped out over there. I might pilfer this guy with arrows for now, so... That's... There's a hit. And let's keep it going. That's a miss, but whatever. Wow, that guy's almost down. These guys without any armor are like the, you know, the guys I want to be hitting right away, so... I'm fine with this for now. I got one over there. Um, what we're going to do here, we're going to have this guy go here. This guy's in range of basically everyone here, so we're just going to have him start slashing and hacking. There's a miss, but whatever. He's right there. This guy's going to bash in the head. Or miss trying, I guess. So if you go over here, there's a slash to him. I want to watch over for here, so you're just going to go right there for now. You're going to go right there. I want this guy to... Well, I'm not sure what I want this guy to do. I'm in a forest right now, which is basically, you know, really hard to move around in, so... Oh, you wait, I guess. You go here. That guy's almost down, so... Let's kill him, I guess. One was down. I want to focus on this guy next to He's got no helmet, and because he's got a really fearsome weapon, so... Go here. And jab him. And this guy down here, I guess, he's going to... I could jump him here, but then he could get surrounded real quick, so... Just go over here and reinforce, I guess. Alright, you get to wait. He swapped and attacked. As it's something that they can do, you know. Um, you put up your guard. Let's focus on this guy, because he's basically going to be able, easier to surround. Or, you know, he was easier to surround for a moment. You're going up here, apparently. Um, let's go after you, I guess. You missed a well. Just wait. 
You get over here, attack him. He missed, oh well. You get to go here. There's a hit out to him. If I take this guy out, it'd be great. That's really what I want to aim to do. You can wait. Put that up. Miss again, apparently, but oh well. Yeah, this guy, he's in like a position where I want him to come to me then the other way around, so... Let's go like this. And wait. Try and last round of shield, I guess. There's a hit to that guy. I still have to get this guy around, so he has to go this way and right there. You can go right here and put your spear ball up. Now, what I should be doing with this guy here is to try and stun someone, so let's try and stun him if possible. Because I'll prevent him from being able to do anything for a little bit. You can just wait. Um, you're going to stay right there for now. Yeah, you're going to stay right there. You're going to go right here and just attack this guy. Almost got him down. Alright, you're still going to wait. There's a spear wall. He actually booked it with the other wayfarer for a moment. You go after him. Well, you went after him instead, but whatever, that's fine. Uh, go after him. I want to do an aim shot on this guy, try and get him. Oh, well. Now, this guy over here, I would like to get him over this way, so... I guess we'll wait for him for a moment. Oh, we put Riposte up this guy. So we're not going to attack this guy for a little bit. That's fine. Um, let's go like this for now. Slash this guy like crazy. He's going to recover. That's fine. Ooh, there goes his hood, that guy. Okay, what I might do with this guy here? Let's try to do a knockback. We'll keep this guy, like, you know, only one guy after him for now. And this guy, I'm just going to let him wait. I want this guy to get into combat over here, so let's just wait for him to come up to us, maybe, so he doesn't reinforce over here. And we'll go with another... Knock on this guy, he missed, oh well. Takes a lot to swing around a mace, unfortunately, so. Get you over here for now. I might have to get this guy to move in, so. Let's see here. Put this up. As a rest, but I took it anyways. You get to wait. You get to wait. You missed, unfortunately. You missed. If he wants to do that, that's fine. It's to keep this guy preoccupied for the moment, so he can do doing whatever. Now, I did that because, uh, you know, this guy's the shield wall and it's kind of annoying just going after him, so. There, finally, we got him. You know what? Just wait up there, I guess. Put that spear wall up. You go here. 
miss apparently, but whatever. This guy's still got the riposte on, so let's just wait with him. So, wait a turn. Put that back up. I actually want that guy to hold out for now, so just keep doing that. Go after him. Two shots, that's okay for now, I guess. Another miss, but whatever. He's bleeding, that's nice, so he's might you know he might take a lot of damage if we're lucky. Let's see here, you get to wait. You know, I'm really tempted to go after this guy with a knockback or something, just knock him out of his stance, but. Let's go like this. Now you can't hit him because he's basically got this thing away, so we'll have to wait a little bit longer with him. Wait. Now he's got shield wall up, so what we're going to do is try to repel and knock him back. I failed, but well. You get to reload. Go after him. Oh, that guy went that way. This guy's now run in, so we'll start doing that with them, I guess. There goes that one. I think we're probably going to have to resort just to going with the single shots to try and get shots in on them. Okay, now we've got to worry about this guy too, so... We gotta charge him in now. Charge! Yeah, he doesn't want anything like this now, so... Just shield up for now. Uh... Do what you can, I guess. He's going down soon, but I don't watch it because he doesn't have a shield ball up or anything. Force this guy has to go over here. I'm not sure if this guy can get by. Oh, he can. So good. Go over here. And we're just going to go strike at him. But fail, well, well. You're going to charge right here. Let's everyone gang up on him, basically. Try and kill him. Now, I could go after this guy, but I still got Reposte on, so... We're going to wait with him for a moment. Nice. Another shot to him. You can wait. I could try and go after him, but, you know, it'd be difficult, so... Just try and do what I can. Oh, that guy ran out of stamina. It's not really doing anything, that guy, but, you know, it's not like he can do anything, so. There we go. Alright, that's great. These guys will start taking swings at this guy, and then, you know, we can start getting up on this guy over here. Um... We're probably good to have these guys just jump in over here, so let's go over here. You can start going over there. Just hit him, I guess. These guys are all pretty fresh still, so just getting up on them.
Nice, we broke them all. Excellent. We go after him a little bit. Let's have him surround this guy right here. Three points surround. Try to take him out, but he's, you know, not going down too easily. There we go. Charge! This guy won't be able to fight, so we're just going to put this guy right here. And... Run him down! Keep stabbing! And there we go! Well, that was my first, you know, battle of six raiders like that. We got some good loot. We got lots of good helmets. A hook blade I can give to one of my, like, you know, pikeman guys. A flail. A pike. That's excellent. A peaceful sword of ruin is made of the dead, like it was their natural state, stiffened and at the permanent loss, and their whole living was but a fleeting fit of accidentally finally coming to an end. Guntram comes up and asks if it, you're alright. You're not sure, to be honest, and simply to answer it, that it's time to go see the guy with films for it. Back to the town hall. So we did. We won. You turn to 100 offense, uh, offense weller, looking rightfully smug. Well, work's done. He nods, sipping a gallop of wine while not necessarily offering it. Yes, the town is eternally grateful for your help. They all they are also monetarily grateful. Man dresses towards the center of the room, you can see a satchel of crowns there. Nine or nine of crowns. Just we agreed. Thanks you again, self lord. It's almost a thousand crowns for that. That could have gone really badly, but we did really, really well, so we came out, you know, looking pretty good. Alright, so we got ourselves a pike here. And hook blade. The pike probably has more damage. And probably I want to use it more in like the hook blade here. But what makes it different, I guess? Maybe it's just the cost? Or maybe it's just the, you know, the, the durability on this thing? Durability and fatigue are basically what makes this a little bit weaker, but other than that, it's a pretty good weapon. Who's got the perfect fatigue? This guy here's got the fatigue, so you go here. And we'll place this um, pitchfork with something. All right, guys. Sorry, you know, got to handle some hand, 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 you know, helmets here. Let's give uh, you that helmet. You can have this helmet. You can have that helmet. And they've got pretty good stuff on right now, so they're good for that. Let's give this archer this one. Well, I guess they're looking pretty good. And this guy's recovered. That's nice. Because I gotta get some of these guys, you know, back out, so... They can heal up in reserve. We got ourselves a flail here. Let's give the flail. This hand axe is really good for damage because it basically ignores armor and is effective against armor and all that, but. It's got worse fatigue than this thing. I may want to have a hand axe just for, you know, when I need it. I use the same thing. 
Yes, these are the same thing. So that's just basically a damage one, and that's what, you know worth going down. So this is probably the better weapon than the hook, hook blades. That's the fa fact that you know the pike is basically damaged, so it's worth less right now. But once it's repaired, it'll be fine. That's something to watch out for. You know, have to fix up stuff. So let's see here. For now, let's just go like this with the helmets here. And let's see what I can buy. So, we're actually just going here first. We got Fletcher here. He sells, like, you know, bows and stuff. Uh, a good crossbow would be better than my light crossbow, I think. So, let's see what type of crossbow I've got. Or anything else in here. This guy's just got a basic light crossbow, so I may want to replace that with, like, a normal crossbow at this point. If possible. I also want to buy this stuff to sell somewhere, probably. So, buy all that stuff. And yes, there's a crossbow in here. There's like the heavy crossbow, which is like really awesome to get, but I don't have the money for it right now. And then we have the normal crossbow right here. Getting a normal crossbow would probably be really nice to have because then I can use to shoot people for more damage. Thinking, thinking, thinking. I'm probably going to skip this just for now because, you know, it's just the mid-tier one and eventually I will be looking at like, the better crossbows. But more importantly is the fact that that basic cost, your basically it's not really about cost. I might be able to get this off bandits if I'm lucky, so there's that. I could get them off bandits. And this is a pretty good cost for right now, so let's just buy this. And we'll leave. We're doing pretty good at medical supplies at least. Alright, so I need to start visiting the other places up here. Where do I go first? Maybe all the way up over here? Or maybe I'll head over here first. Actually, have you got a tavern? No, I don't have a tavern. Um, let's cut down over here to see if they have any work and then we'll head up over here. And think about it, is there any like cities up here? There's a wooden keep over there. Oh yeah, there's a big city right there. That's the place to sell wood to. Massively, I could possibly buy stuff from there. From there as well. I really like the layout of this map. Basically, you got cities like, you know, up in, in, in north and the south, so... It's a good place to sell stuff, basically. Might be able to get some good copper here to sell. And I ran out of tools. That's the thing about tools, they're expensive. And these guys have ambush tray routes. Uh, let's see here. Brian has been uh, hiring us for weeks now, and just yesterday they tried to set fire to a pub. Can you believe that? Who sets fire to such a thing? Luckily, we put it out just in time, but things are getting bad around here. If they threaten our precious drink, what will they do next? Luckily, we managed to find out where these bankers are hiding, so yes, I see you, your look. It's a simple task. Tell us we want you to go kill every last bringing out there. Are you willing to work with us? Alright, this is a free skeleton contract, so if I do this one, 
it's really going to be painful. And that's not worth it, so... Regret, it isn't worth it. Sorry. Uh, let's see here. We'll head up this way for now, I guess. Because I have to start visiting these towns to get my, you know, stuff going. Got all these people on the roads over here. Peasants on the road. Train caravan on the road. Arrow maker shed, ruins. There's a noble's contract over here, but I can't really do anything about that. There's a kennel here, that's nice. Alright, these guys don't really have anything of worth for me. They got expensive tools, expensive everything else. I could sell this stuff, but it's not really worth selling it here. I'm tempted to buy some dogs, because they are good for, like, you know, cannon fodder. Might buy some dogs. Buy a couple. And I never actually leveled these guys up. That's a bit of an issue. Hmm. Whatever, we'll leave the dog like that for now. Let's level these guys up, because I forgot to do that. You get this. And... I'm probably treating you as a frontliner, so bing, boom, health. And you're another frontliner. Ooh, this guy's been leveled up pretty good. He's got nine lives. That's nice. Backstabber, anticipation, shield expert. Hmm. This guy's having fatigue problems, so... I'm tempted to get the, um, the brawny here. That'll help us fatigue a little bit so we can do more stuff. And then you can just get, um... More fatigue. These rolls were horrible! Just get all that stuff. Nothing to mark I really care about, I don't think, so... One moment, gotta go answer the phone. <laughs> 